Thank you, Governor. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. To the reporters in attendance, I also want to thank you for your flexibility and patience, creativity, as we've worked to find a way to give you a chance to ask questions while also making sure that we're following public health guidance. So we appreciate that model. I'll start with our data update for today. We have 176 new cases to report. There are 276 people currently hospitalized. Of those people, 73 are currently in the intensive care unit and 52 are currently on a ventilator. We sadly have eight additional COVID-19 associated fatalities to report as the governor shared. These people range in their age from 60s to 90s. Three people were in their 60s, two people were in their 70s, two were in their 80s, and one person was in their 90s. Our deepest sympathies are with the families of those dear Rhode Islanders who we have lost. I want to follow up briefly on what the governor discussed about restaurants. What we have developed across state government, Rhode Island Department of Health, Department of Business Regulation, Commerce, as a team, on behalf of the governor, is a very thoughtful, measured, public health focused approach for restaurants. What underlies our guidance for restaurants and for people who will be eating outdoors at restaurants are the same infection control principles that have been guiding us through this since day one. The governor has shared that we want people to use menus differently, disposable menus, menus that are sanitized between uses. That's because menus are a classic high touch item that gives us the opportunity to handle it differently. Similarly, reusable condiment containers are also prime example of high touch objects, objects that members of the public will use at different times. And that's why our guidance stipulates that restaurants should be using single serving containers for condiments. We want workers spaced out and diners spaced out to minimize the chance that respiratory droplets spread between people. This is also why we want people wearing masks where appropriate outside of uh, restaurant situations and we'll be exploring how we will apply that here. Another way we are going to be asking food establishments to partner with us is by asking them to retain employee logs and the names of customers for at least 30 days. Only reservations will be accepted. There will be no walk-in service, as the governor has shared. This is so we can respond quickly and effectively to any outbreaks that occur. Rhode Islanders have been doing a good job, and we are confident that you're going to continue doing a good job. You should be confident going out and going to restaurants for outdoor dining as well as going to shops. We want you to be confident, but also not complacent. Wear your masks, use hand sanitizer, and wash your hands frequently throughout the day. Stay in small groups, and most importantly, stay home if you are sick. On this same theme of being confident but not complacent, I wanted to relay one last thought, this one about testing. More and more people are getting tested every day. We are getting close to having tested 100,000 people in Rhode Island. This is a tremendous feat, given that we are standing here just 71 days after our first case identified by the state health laboratories at the Rhode Island Department of Health. If you are a Rhode Islander who got a negative test result in the last few days or who gets one in the few days to come, there are some things we want everyone to keep in mind that aligns with the message that we have been saying. A test is a one point in time test. 
particularly if someone does not have symptoms, the reliability of the results is not as good. So just because someone has tested negative, that does not mean that they will remain negative for time to come because the test is just one point in time. If you've been told to quarantine because you had direct sustained contact with a person with COVID-19, even if the test result returns negative, it's important to remain in quarantine. If you received a negative test result but have symptoms of some kind, you still need to remain in isolation and continue to recover safely at home. That means even doing whatever you can to be in a separate space from the people in your own household. As the governor has said, and I have said, we are moving in the right direction, but we are not out of the woods yet. Each of these steps we're talking about taking cautiously and safely matters. We all need to continue to think about how decisions as individuals impact Rhode Island as a whole.